So, New Air was kind enough to send us a fan and, and allow us to test it out. So today we're going to open it up and put it to work um, and see what we think. What I love is how quiet it is. Yeah. I called him. It's too booked out. And he's like, sorry man, we were just slammed. I'd love to come out, but... Do you, do you need another location? Um, do you want me to call him or do you want to call him? Yeah, call him up. Right, I'll call him and hand you the phone. Why don't you just tell him, call him up and tell him to get his ass over here? We'll see if he's... I mean, with all due respect, of course. <laughs> <Coping me. laughs> he's the off-grid electrician. Cool. I was telling you about. You really gotta look, peel peel off the sheeting, and look on at both sides. So we're we're still tearing this thing apart, and we're gonna have to tear out this whole pop out and reframe it. Um, it's gonna require lifting up some of the walls and trying to put in new seal plates and new um, all new lumber. So that's what we're working on here today is getting it tore out and and then we'll start rebuilding it. What are we doing up here? Pull this out. Yeah, pull everything underneath what with the window and pull that out because then we can get all the way down to the bottom. Okay. He just said let him know. One nail. Yeah. Oh, hey, that's pretty. No, that's not much. Peel that one off. And it's another one. Of Well, I like this one. It's clean. Pretty clean. Well, that one's attached to the one behind you. I'm pulling it off. Tap that one back. Actually, let's put a new one in there. So we'll just let that one come out. Okay. So. So another great day. Uh, I think we've got our shopping list. Put our shopping list together and head out and get lumber first thing in the morning and start putting that window bay back together. Be thinking if there's anything special that we need like window flashing, silicone, 
Um, I'm sure there's there's a whole list of things that we need to get for that putting that bay back together. Yeah, I think let's definitely want to put flex flex seal underneath the windows. I think we have enough window stuff to do all three of those and this one. The problem with the that flex seal stuff is is it comes in those big rolls, and there's like a hundred and hundred foot in those rolls, but those rolls are like two hundred bucks a piece. So we're working on putting this bay window together and we've got it reframed and all of the pressure treated put back in and we've started kind of the insulation process. I don't know if you can see this. It's kind of shooting into the light. Um, but starting to come together and I've got I've had uh, I've got the power company coming out, and we're going to look at swapping out the panel and upgrading this from a 100 amp to a 200 amp service. And um, back wall, uh, back here, you can see we've got that's coming along. We're leave, we're leaving a we're going to leave a hole in the wall just so we can get in and out. That'll let us haul in materials and get in and out without having to go through the the homeowner's house and track in dirt and dust and everything else. Um, so slowly but surely, uh, we've obviously with the bay window, we found a lot of a lot of surprises. We've had to dig out a lot more, tear more apart, fix more, but it's a lot easier to do it here and now than to try to come back later. Ooh. Under this board? Uh, I did. I don't think it's going to hurt to do the I'll seal make... plate. Okay. I, I did take it all the way to the back side of the sill. This is pressure treated already, right? No. no. I don't oh, it's not? It is. No. I thought it had the coloration of one. It might be. Yeah, that's a. It could be redwood, but I don't think so. Throw some more in there. Yep. Get this real quick. Very good. So we're we are we're coating everything with this copper green, and this is a got a brown tint to it, so it'll, it'll look a lot like a darker piece of wood. But in places where we can't get in and put in pressure treated lumber. Uh, we'll coat everything with this that will be uh, resistant to termites and mold and, and wood decay. So that's what we're painting on right now.